good morning dear friends welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to continue on ms word so let's go ahead and open our ms word blank document okay so in our previous lesson we learned the future scores on MOS Word. So today we are going to see how we can insert table, how we can save our documents and how we can open our documents. So let's say you already know how to type in works. This you already know how to do. Now you want to Add table you go to inserts on this menu bar inserts this is table so you can you know add by the so the more you touch these tables that is these squares the more the number of columns and rows adds up but here is where you have to Put the exact number that you want this is the column so let's say that we need let's say that we need like 10 columns and then rows let's say we need like 30 columns okay this is it as simple as now let's say you have a list of maybe a class list and you would want to add it to a table you have a class list already listed a class list and you want to add it to a table okay let me see if there is any class list on my desktop okay let's say something of this kind Okay, let's say this is not a class list, but let's just copy uh, this list. Let's just take it as a name format. Copy, Ctrl C, and then go back. Now, adding table is so insert. Let's say I want to make. So now, suppose you want to adjust this table to your choice, to you, to the shape of your choice, uh, because they are equal now, and you wouldn't want it to be equal. So take your cursor or your arrow, place it on this line. You see, to, it will change automatically. Change no longer with this uh, normal shape, and then, sorry. And you drag hold and drag hold and drag hold and drag so now the listed items or names or formats that i would want to paste all i need to is to highlight the columns or rows i would want to insert it on Control v so you don't need to say because i want to i want to play something new you, you highlight all the table no you only highlight the even if i just want it to be in this particular uh, table alone I want it to be in this box alone. All I need is to paste. So it will be in this box alone. So this is how to create table and to work with table. So again, I, I want to open a document without minimizing. I want to open a document from my already, already saved document. I want to open an already saved document. Control O, 
will lead me to open but i will simply go direct because before now we learned control o so i will simply go direct from this file i'll go to file go to open so this i recent documents maybe i would want to go through i'm not uh, these are recent documents so but because i don't know how to make use of recent documents i don't know how to search from recent documents go to computer go to browse so here will be kind of more convenient for you to find what you want so let's say is a document saved on the on document or maybe on desktop or maybe on download here you can find any of them click on the document click on open it will open and then you want to copy a particular area light control c I mean, just go to your taskbar hold and then you find the one you are working with before now which is this document and then i would want to paste so this is simply how to work with how to open an already saved document so i hope we are learning and then gradually gradually you will get to master a more sword okay now let's say we want to save uh one thing i like so much about microsoft packages before you exit you mistakenly want to exit it must show you this option whether you want to save or not if you don't want to save what you have done then don't save if you want to save then you click on save you name the file and save uh, but because you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to take any risk or any chances all you need is to control s which we know already but let's say i don't want to use shortcut and maybe because my keyboard is my functioning i want to and i want to save my document what do i do go to file go to save and now let's say that you have already saved this document before now okay let's go to an already saved document for example this one i go to file save as now i want to save it uh, in another dimension or, may or maybe uh, uh, with another format or maybe i want to send it to another position then go to browse save as now saving as mustn't be with saving with mos word so saving as and saving are not the same so let's see it now you see this option here save as type this is the main option the main reason for save as and this is applicable to core draw applicable to in fact any any mos word packages so this is applicable to any mos word packages powerpoint core draw all the rest so i mean microsoft packages so save as so this is an option or let me say options for you to say maybe i want to save as pdf and um, you can see plain test I want to save it now when you save it with any of these options that means you would want to open it with an app or maybe application of this option too save as web page then you have to open it in, an, in a web page save as a uh, you can see open document there's, there are many options which you you might want to open it maybe the phone you are using one of these is there and there is no MOS word in <coughs> sorry there is no MOS word in the phone you are using and then you would want to save it and open it in your phone but there is no MOS word maybe you have pdf so this is pdf option for you 
this is a more well, other more uh, more well options for you to open to save your document with and open it in your phone so then now let's go back to so you can see the difference this is save as and why this is save save yes it is already saved let's just go to a new document without save now save now you can see okay though the option of save as is there already but the first remains that you do this save as you do this save as whenever you want to reposition or maybe duplicate the document or maybe you want to because you have saved it already but you don't like the format in which you saved the document with uh, so now when you save a document and already saved the document in another format that doesn't mean that the already saved one will change its format let's say i, ch I save this one with pdf open save with pdf now the already saved one which is the one open already won't change its format it won't change its format now look at the one which i saved as pdf here so it is it is now open in a pdf format but the one which i saved before is still there so this is the need or let me say the essence of saving as that is to say that the documents which you have the already the already made document which you have from which you are saving as won't change but the one which you save as will be there so it will now be of two documents and you want to send it out that's the option for save as okay so now i know we must have learned how to insert table how to open new already saved document and how to save and save as that is save document and save as so so from our next lesson we are going to be following it sequentially to learn the menu bars quick changes at the selection of any of these insert design page layout reference mailing review and view so we are going to learn their options the options which they shows up when you click on them and how to make use of them so thank you very much and do well to subscribe comment and share thank you dear friends